Hi there, and welcome to this short video, which is going to look at two possible ways to help you if you're experiencing bloating or you have some gastrointestinal tract irritability. So the first one is the migratory motor complex, something maybe you've heard of or maybe you haven't. It's shortened to MMC and we're going to talk about it now. What it is, is a recurring pattern of electrochemical activity that happens in your gastrointestinal tract once you've stopped eating for a period of time. So it definitely happens overnight when you've been fasting, but you need to be able to not be eating or consuming anything really other than water for at least four hours for the MMC to take effect. So it acts like an internal housekeeper really that removes residuals of undigested material out of your small intestine. So if you're asking when and why does it start, well the MMC is suppressed when you're eating, meaning as long as you keep eating frequently, the cleansing waves won't appear. About three to four hours after your last meal, when the stomach has emptied, the gastric emptying, the MMC kicks in. Its main purpose is to clear out debris and prevent bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine, an important defense, especially if you're someone that's suffering from something like SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. The MMC is regulated by enteric nerves and hormones, notably one called motilin, which is a large peptide. It's a peptide hormone, basically. And it's about every single 90 to 120 minutes during fasting, this cycle re reoccurs. And what happens is it will increase the motility of your small intestine and increase the peristalsis, the waves. Its function is to sweep undigested food, dead cells and bacteria down the GI tract towards the colon. So if you keep snacking or grazing in between meals, you will not be able to stimulate the MMC. This is one of the key arguments of spacing out meals and avoiding constant grazing, especially for optimal gut health. So in summary, the MMC is caused by motilin, which is a peptide hormone in the enterocytes, and it's only operating in the digestive periods where you're not actually eating anything or consuming any food or drink, unless it's water, water is okay. It removes all the food debris and prepares the small intestine and the stomach for the next meal. A small amount of gastric juice is also produced, which sweeps away any food debris that is remaining in the gut. So how does the MMC get activated? Well, there is a peptide hormone called motilin. It's a 22 amino acid polypeptide, and it's um, secreted by the enteric endocrine cells, not uh, M cells from the immune system, by the way. And this is what rises basically the longer your stomach and your small intestine is free from food and once you get to about the four hour mark then it really kicks in and moves the peristalsis along and lots of undigested food debris is moved towards the colon so the key to removing bloating and discomfort in the gi tract might simply be to not eat once you've eaten and had something to drink for four hours just simple as that. Don't take anything else in and see how that goes. The other thing you could do is if you're drinking sparkling water. Now, sparkling water tends to have carbon dioxide added and the body has to process that. So if you're drinking a sparkling water and you're experiencing bloating and belching, it could be simply that is causing the problem. Once you drink that carbon dioxide, your body has got to process it and it will turn into carbonic acid in your stomach. So Simple as that. Maybe look at two things. Don't eat in between meals and leave a nice solid gap of four hours and maybe stop drinking the sparkling water and you may see some improvements in discomfort in the GI tract and belching and bloating. Motilin acts via the motilin receptor, MLNR, which is a G-coupled protein and it's expressed mainly in the GI smooth muscle. Binding triggers depolarization and triggers peristaltic contractions. 